In this video, we're going to focus on the blood supply of the brain. Uh, to start with, the blood supply of the brain can be divided into two groups, the vertebro-basilar system and the carotid system. Here carotid system refers to the internal carotid artery. First, we'll start with blood supply of the brain stem. Here we're going to draw a schematic diagram of the brain stem. This is the medulla oblongata, the pons, and the midbrain. There are two vertebral arteries which run along the anterior surface of the medulla. They join at the pontomedullary junction and then continue as a single artery which is the basilar artery which then divides into two terminal branches that is the posterior cerebral branches. Now the two vertebral arteries are running along the anterior surface of medulla. On the medial side they give two branches which join together and form a single anterior spinal artery. Then this anterior spinal artery will supply the medial part of medulla. Then the same vertebral artery will give a lateral branch on either side which we call it as the pica that is the posterior inferior cerebellar artery this will supply the lateral part of medulla after formation of basilar artery uh, which is formed at the pontomedullary junction the basilar artery will give small branches which supply the medial part of pons these together are called as the pontine branches this will supply the medial part of pons now the blood supply of lateral part of pons can be divided into one supplying the rostral pons and one supplying the caudal pons the caudal pons is a uh, caudal pons is supplied by one branch which is arising from the basilar artery which is called as the ICA that is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery and before giving of the posterior cerebral artery the basilar artery gives two more lateral branches which are the superior cerebellar arteries and this will supply the rostral pons on its lateral surface and rest of the midbrain the whole of the midbrain is supplied by branches which are arising from the posterior cerebral artery or which is called as PCA so this is with respect to uh, the blood supply of brain stem Next, we'll focus on something which is important, which is called as the circle of Willis. The circle of Willis is mainly located at the base of the brain. First, we'll see at the formation of the circle of Willis. Again, we're drawing two vertebral arteries. They're joining to form a basilar artery. This basilar artery divides to give the posterior cerebral arteries this is the posterior cerebral here is the internal carotid artery now this internal carotid artery gives two terminal branches one is the midi middle cerebral artery and one more is the anterior cerebral artery Uh, we'll label the diagrams here. This is your vertebral arteries, the basilar artery, this is the posterior cerebral artery, middle cerebral artery, anterior cerebral artery. Now, the two anterior cerebral arteries are communicating with each other through what is called as the anterior communicating artery.
and the uh, internal carotid is in communication with the posterior cerebral artery by the posterior communicating artery so this whole circle formed by posterior cerebral artery posterior communicating artery the internal carotid artery the anterior cerebral artery and the anterior communicating artery whole of it together is called as the circle of willis one important point to note here is that the middle cerebral artery does not take part in formation of the circle of willis now that we're done with uh, the brain stem and circle of willis let's focus on the blood supply of different areas or parts of the brain in this diagram this is the diagram of uh, showing base of the brain mid brain this is the region of the interpeduncular fossa this is your temporal lobe and this is your frontal lobe this is the location of the basilar artery this basilar artery is giving the branch here that is the posterior cerebral artery note that this posterior cerebral artery is winding around the anterior surface of the midbrain and then coming posterior here it gives branches this is the anterior temporal branch the posterior temporal branch and then the parieto occipital branch anterior temporal posterior temporal and parieto occipital this is the location of the internal carotid artery here as you can see the posterior communicating branch just communicating between the posterior cerebral artery and the internal carotid artery and the internal carotid artery is giving the anterior cerebral artery here and the middle cerebral artery is going here in this diagram you can note that the anterior cerebral artery is going towards the median longitudinal fissure it goes into the medial longitudinal fissure and then after it goes into the medial longitudinal fissure it comes out and then it winds around the genu of the corpus callosum once it crosses the genu of the corpus callosum it gives two branches one branch which is running along the superior surface of the corpus callosum and another branch which is running in the uh, which is running in the uh, superior to it this artery here which is running on the superior surface of the corpus callosum is called as peri callosal artery and this artery is the calloso marginal artery see because this is running along the uh, corpus callosum and this is the uh, medial surface of the brain you can note that most of the medial surface of the brain is supplied by the anterior cerebral artery the posterior cerebral artery after winding around the anterior surface of the midbrain entering here comes under the surface of here and then passes in this region therefore you can note that the inferior part mostly most of the temporal lobe of the uh, brain is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery except this region that is the pole pole of the temporal lobe is not supplied by posterior cerebral artery instead it is supplied by middle cerebral artery this is the location of the circle of willis around the interpeduncular fossa now once the marginal artery comes out of the internal carotid uh, artery it passes uh, laterally and it passes through uh, the lateral circles this is the superolateral surface of the brain this is the lateral circles you know that this is the stem of the lateral circles and it gives three rami the anterior horizontal rami the anterior ascending rami and the posterior rami corresponding to these the middle cerebral artery which is passing through the lateral sulcus it gives three branches one is called the frontoparietal branch 
the anterior parietal branch and then the posterior parietal branch this is the middle cerebral artery fronto parietal branch this is the posterior parietal branch and the anterior parietal branch since the middle cerebral artery is passing along the lateral sulcus most of the superior lateral surface is supplied by the middle cerebral artery this is one final diagram which shows different areas which is supplied by different cerebral arteries the green here this this is the superior lateral surface most of the medial surface of the brain and 2 cm bandwidth of superior lateral surface is the region of the anterior cerebral artery the occipital lobe is the region of the posterior cerebral artery and most of the parietal lobe and the temporal pole is the region of the middle cerebral artery that's it in this video for blood supply of the brain thank you for watching